Hello everyone. Today we are going to study a rare tumor, myoepithelioma of parotid gland. So what are myoepitheliomas? They are benign neoplasms composed exclusively of myoepithelial cells. So they are composed of myoepithelial cells. They are very rare comprising 1% of all salivary gland neoplasms. There is no sex predilection. Myoepithelioma, they affect approximately 40% parotid gland. So they are most common in parotid gland and they can also affect minor salivary gland of palate. Usual age of presentation is 40 to 50 years. It is a slow growing neoplasm. It is painless and well circumscribed. It recurs locally if incomplete removal occurs. If capsule is not completely removed, it can recur. So grossly, as we have already discussed, it is well circumscribed and typically encapsulated. So it is a it is an encapsulated neoplasm varying in size from few centimeters to up to 5 centimeters. It may have cystic changes. There is absence of grossly myxoid or chondroid areas as they are common in pleomorphic adenomas. So there is absence of myxoid or chondroid areas grossly. On cut section, they are solid tan or yellow tan and glistening surface. On microscopic examination, there is abundance of or the tumor is formed of either spindle cells or epithelioid cells or plasma cytoid cells or clear cells or oncocytic cells. So either there is abundance of spindle cells, epithelioid, plasma cytoid, clear cells or oncocytic cells. But the combination of these can be seen. So the tumor is well circumscribed or encapsulated with a thin capsule. So there is presence of capsule. Well circumscribed tumor with presence of capsule and composed of spindle shaped cells or epithelioid cells depending upon the type. So as it is encapsulated but the myoepitheliomas which are present in minor salivary glands, they are usually not encapsulated. So encapsulation is uncommon in minor salivary gland tumors. The stroma when present, it may be hyalinized or it may show myxoid or mucoid change or lipomatous metaplasia can be seen. So architectural pattern, it could be solid. The cells, these cells are present in solid form or myxoid pattern, reticular pattern or there may be mixed pattern. Collagenous crystalloids may be present. In spindle cell type myoepitheliomas it has stroma like appearance and it can be confused with fibroblast schwann cells or spoon muscle cells so if spindle cells are prominent then spindle cell type myoepithelioma it gives stroma like appearance and it is common in parotid gland epithelioid type it has uniform round cells with moderate amount of cytoplasm. It is also common in parotid glands. The oncocytic type, in this type, the cytoplasm has granular oxyphilic quality. While in case of hyaline type or also known as plasma cytoid type, the cells with eccentric nuclei and have abundant cytoplasm with diffuse eosinophilia. Cell margins are polygonal and sharply defined. So in hyaline type, 
the cytoplasm has diffuse eosinophilia while in oncocytic type the cytoplasm is granular the hyaline type or plasma cytoid type it is common in minor salivary gland that is on palate and another exception is it is negative for actin and p63 the myoepithelial markers that are present in other myoepitheliomas they are negative in hyaline type the negative one are actin and p63 while they are positive for keratin and s100 clear cell type myoepithelioma in this there are sheets or nests of cuboidal cells with moderate amount of clear cytoplasm the clear cytoplasm it contains variable amount of glycogen so the cytoplasm is clear due to presence of glycogen and not due to fat or mucin so clear cell type cuboidal cells with clear cytoplasm due to presence of glycogen it is also present in parotid gland so all the types spindle cell type epithelioid type oncocytic type and clear cell type they are common in parotid glands while the hyaline type or plasma cytoid type it is seen in minor salivary gland and it is negative for actin and p63 so coming to the microphotograph you can see this is the tumor it has capsule and this is the normal salivary gland normal parotid gland tissue this is capsule and here a circumscribed tumor myoepithelioma the low part of myoepithelioma you can see the cells are monomorphic with spindle shaped nuclei these are spindle shaped cells stroma like appearance giving stroma like appearance this is spindle cell type myoepithelioma this is the hyper view of spindle cell myoepithelioma this microphotograph is showing the myxoid change in the stroma these are the myxoid change there can be seen myxoid change or lipomatosmata plasia or mucoid change now coming to immunohistochemistry so reactivity for myoepitheliomas they show reactivity for keratin s100 p63 p40 actin vimentin calponin and myosin so myoepithelial markers and keratin so it shows reactivity towards keratin s100 p63 p40 actin vimentin calponin and myosin the molecular or cytogenetic description most myoepitheliomas they are negative for ewsr1 rearrangements so mostly they are negative for ewsr rearrangements only oncocytic myoepithelioma they show plag1 ntf3 plag1 fbx032 and plag1 gem fusion so fusions of these genes ntf3 fbxo32 and gem with plag1 it is detected in oncocytic myoepitheliomas and ewsr1 rearrangements they are seen in carcinoma clear cell myoepithelial carcinoma in approximately 40% of the cases so important molecular or cytogenetic rearrangements they are ewsr1 rearrangement seen in 
clear cell myoepithelial carcinoma and the oncocytic myoepithelioma that show fusion of flag 1 and ntf3 fbxo32 and gem now the malignant myoepithelioma or myoepithelial carcinoma malignant myoepithelioma they show infiltrative growth pattern there is increased cellularity mitotic activity is increased presence of necrosis and they show cytologic atypia so if in myoepitheliomas you see cytologic atypia necrosis increased mitotic activity and the tumor is highly cellular with infiltrative growth pattern it is malignant myoepithelioma they can arise de novo or as a malignant transformation of a myoepithelioma or in benign mixed tumor or basal cell adenoma so malignant myoepithelioma they can arise de novo or due to malignant transformation of previously in a previous neoplasm like myoepithelioma benign mixed tumor or basal cell adenomas malignant myoepitheliomas they contribute approximately 2% of salivary gland malignancies and parotid gland is most commonly involved salivary gland so prognosis of malignant myoepithelioma is following treatment approximately one third patient will die of disease one third will be alive with disease and one third will be alive and disease free thank you very much